Hello, Internet! Welcome back to another Megasticism video. We are right back again, Pokemon Yellow, continuing our way into Mount Moon. Uh, today I'm hoping I can get out of Mount Moon within a relatively good time period. I don't want to make a video that's way too long, but I do want to show off everything. And I do want to, uh... There is a Pokemon here I'm trying to catch. It does have a... It's not the most common one in here. It's decently common. You run into them. Hey, Clefairy. But I feel like it's a Pokemon that not many people use, but it's personally one of my favorites. Especially in Gen 1, like... It is... it's pretty good. Like, it's still decent later on in Gen 2, it's... I think Gen 2 gets a little bit better. Gen 3? Um... I think Gen 3 and onwards is where it, like, really falls off, but I love using it anyway. I don't use it competitively like that. Although I think I did once. I got my ass handed to me. But, uh... As for, like, Gen 1 and Gen 2, I gotta say it's pretty solid. And I'm hoping I can catch one for you guys today. I'm hoping I can catch one for myself, really. Ah! Oh. Sad reacts only, guys. Sad reacts only. Spunky, let's go. Locate the fuck out of here. There we go. Yeah, I'm starting to uh, starting to think of an idea of what I want for uh, my party in this game. Oh shit, I can't continue on without Pikachu. Do do. All right. <laughs> Luckily, I'm right by the start. Maybe I should uh just probably watch my types a little bit more. I forget that I don't have the most powerful party right now, and I should probably, you know, like pay more attention to that kind of stuff. Like later on, I can like just keep out whatever while I'm going against whatever. Except for like you know like gym leaders and actual trainers and stuff. But right now, it really matters. Too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad. Oh, how did I know? It's like the only thing that's in here. I want to say you find Geodude, like... I want to say you find Geodude. Yeah, I know you'll find Geodude. We found out... What was it, last episode? I think I looked at the... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I looked at the uh, Pokedex trying to see where Pokemon were, and I was looking to see where I could find a Geodude. I know he's in here. This is so, so very uncommon. What are you gonna be? Oh, I should have known. I mean, what, what else would it be? You know, now I'm not even sure if the Pokemon I'm looking for is actually gonna be in here because it's the yellow version. If that didn't uh, help you guys figure out what it's going to be, then I don't know what will. Because, I mean, obviously, you know, but I know, I know Geodude's here, I know Zubat's here. We talk about Clefairy, there's only one other Pokemon you can find in Mount Moon. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Double team! Aw, oh, hell yeah! I didn't know you got double team this early! Aw, oh, fuck Tail Whip! That's amazing! It's a fucking good move! Uh, that was Key Spark. Well, Key Spark hit the front of the party. Uh, oh, the fairy! You know, I, you, for some reason, it seems like no matter what, actually, no, it's always in blue version, and subsequently leaf green. I would go through the entire thing of Mount Moon, not seeing a single fairy, until I'm at the last room 
uh, before you fight the, uh, the nerd guy, going around the corner and, like, it would always, and before the, uh, last Team Rocket grunt, it'd always be, uh, a Clefairy. And it'd be more if I, like, walked around and I was trying to find one. But, like, it seemed like if I was, like, going through it normally, I would always find one in the same exact spot. Didn't matter if I was playing blue version, I was playing leaf green, always found it there. I think I'm probably gonna capture now. Go ball! Damn it! I fucking appear to be caught. I'll, I'll risk it. It's close. All right, all right. If I don't catch it now, then nothing. Adored for their cute looks and playfulness, they are thought to be rare, as they do not appear often. That's why I'm surprised I ran into the one this early. Can we give a nickname? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. It really is cute, though. Hound, brow. Wait, I thought there was a Team Rocket Grunt in here. Oh, there he is. I was about to say, I was like, I could have, could have sworn. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon Gangsters. How gangster are you? I mean, you must be gangster enough, you have a sand true. Yes, I'm mean, I can't do shit against. I know, I do have a quick attack. Mm, I'm probably better off with Spunky anyway. Let's get a Spunky. Mm, why? Yeah, let's try a Karate Chop. Critical hit. Oh, wow. I know it has a high crit hit uh, ratio, but I'm not sure. How high? I want to say, uh, no way. Cry Chop uh, has a really high one. I think in later chance, it's actually like a 100% guarantee, uh, critical. It might be that in this game. I want to say it. <laughs> I want to say it's a 100% chance of critical. And if so, let's see. A critical hit does, I want to say, two times damage, and it's base, base 50 power. So right now I have a move, a base 100 power, with 100% accuracy. Ah, uh, Spunky, you you are most definitely my monkey. See, I always thought about you know, so call him like Spunky the monkey, call him uh, Spunky the monkey, but then like. Whenever I think of Spanky the Mankey, I think of, you know, like... Damn it. I think of something else. I'll, uh, I'll leave that open to, uh, interpretation. Uh, I wanna find that Pokémon. Alright, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'm looking for Paris. In one of the few areas you can find him in are these, uh lower levels like this, like the little tunnels. I think he's elsewhere, but he's very, uh, very rare. Uh, let me double check this online before I end up wasting my time again, like Jigglypuff. Because this one, I can't, uh, I can't check the Pokedex, I haven't seen one yet. Alright, so this can be found in Mount Moon and Safari Zone. Uh, some details. I 
Yeah, there's a, um... Alright, he's a 5% chance on the top level. And there's a... 10% chance on bottom floor 1. And a 15% chance on bottom floor 2. But I don't know which one's bottom floor 1 and which one's bottom floor 2. Um... I'm sorry. The last episode, I was like drinking water the whole time, and like this time, just sitting here, and uh, I'm probably better off trying to actually uh, drink water and stuff, so I'm not coughing the whole time. Oh yeah, Pokemon Yellow, okay. It's a 10% chance in bottom 4 1, 15% bottom 4 2, with no chance at all of finding him on this top level. Uh, let's go, Spunky. Oh, it didn't actually come, okay. Alright, so, maybe probably Chop isn't the, uh, the be-all, end-all of moves in this game, but, uh, that's actually still pretty good. Full horn, yeah, I'll give us one key. Ooh. I the way Voltorb looks in this game, compared to, uh, Red and Blue, the, uh, the sprite form was not too, uh, not too flattering. I mean, it looks like Voltor, but I mean, a lot of Gen 1 sprites didn't actually look that good. Uh, in the scratch. Screech. That's not a scratch. Great, they fell. Out. I definitely really want a Paras, but I don't want you guys to like sit here and wait for me to uh, try to find one. I'm gonna cut the footage now. I'll cut back in when I get into a battle with him, but for right now, I think I'm just gonna wander around this bottom part until I find one. So uh, I'll be back, guys. Finally! There we go. Alright, uh, welcome back guys. Um, I wasted a good something like eight minutes just wandering around trying to find this thing. I did catch a I caught a Geo dude while I was there. I'll show him uh show him to you guys real quick after this battle. Not very effective. It was critical hit and still didn't do that much right. I really just don't want to kill it because it took me so long. I ran into like two more Clefairies and like five Geodudes and then countless, <laughs> I mean countless Zubats before I found this thing. Hell, damn it! Oh, I was about to be like, hell yeah, but no. Oh, cool. Oh, hey, I get to see what happens to Pikachu when he's like... Hello, oh, well, right. Nice double team. Don't fucking kill me. Aww. <laughs> Aww. That was just a good waste of, like, what, five seconds? Alright, alright, you should be good to catch now. Why did you try and hit me with Stun Spore? Do you have any other moves? Please don't tell me you only have Stun Spore. 
Alright, cool. Paris, the mushroom Pokemon, burrows under the ground to gnaw on tree route, roots. Tree routes. The other kind of route, the root. The mushrooms on his back absorb most of the nutrition. Damn parasites. Mm, yeah. Alright, so, weird nickname. Really weird nickname, actually. Um, but it's what I always name my, uh... My, uh, sorry. You guys sound out there for a second. My parasite, or my parasites and stuff. It's just, uh, I caught one and I was like, alright, I just want to give it a name that fills up every single, uh, every single spot. So I, I called it Heaven Celia. I think I just put in, uh, put in random letters, but I got that. And ever since then, I've just kept naming them Heaven Celio. It's just, uh, at Heaven Celio, the, uh, the para slash parasite. I'll see what moves you have. You have Scratch and some sport. Yeah, I was gonna say, I know you hit me with something. Uh, you're gonna be a pain in the ass to level up, but I'll do it. Alright, um... Cut the video here again, I'm gonna go back, heal, and uh, I'll meet you guys back at uh, the entrance to where this little uh, portion was. Alright, welcome back guys. Sorry about that again. I feel like I cut, uh, I feel like I cut the video kind of often in um, all these, but there's a lot of things, like I don't want you guys to like, see me backtracking and be like, alright, just going to Pokemon Center and back. Uh, he's just doing a bunch of useless battles. Uh, speaking of useless battles, I between the start of the cave to that first little hole, I think I hit like five in different encounters. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised this thing didn't level up. Most of them, two of them were like level six Zubats. Two were level nine. Okay, so there was only four uh, four encounters. Still, but uh, yeah, I think I forgot about this game is that a Pokemon's type, like if it's using a move, it really only matters against its uh, its opponent's like first typing. So like, I could use a b uh, bug type move, oh, actually no, it's a better example. I can, uh, I want to say I can use a fighting type move on a flying type and it'll actually be normal effectiveness if it's a normal flying and instead of a flying normal. It'd be something like that, like it completely neglects the second type if it's super effective against the first. Or if it's not very effective. That was the whole reason why, um, you know, like most, uh, Pokemon this game that are rock and ground types, you know, they're rock and ground types. But then, uh, you have Rhyhorn and Rhydon, which are ground and rock. And that actually makes a slight difference. Not much, because ground and rock share a lot of, uh, and I mean a lot, of, uh, the same weaknesses. But not all of them. Also, I forgot when I picked this HP up, but I'm not sure which Pokemon to use it on. I mean, this one has the least amount, but I don't know what it's gonna be like when it evolves. HP wise. I mean, I guess I could check online, but. Also, I'm getting really, really tired of these, uh, these Zubat encounters. Alright, I think if, uh, I think if it keeps it up like this, I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna cut out every video of a random encounter with a Zubat. I'm gonna battle them, I wanna level up, but I'm just gonna cut it out there. Although I feel like I'd be cutting, making so many different edits to the video. Ah, uh, who wants me? Someone keeps messaging me on Facebook. It's my, uh, it's my roommate's girlfriend. I'm not really sure what she wants. I'll, uh, I'll check that out in a bit. But yeah, the thing I was bringing up the, uh, about the types and stuff is that it actually, uh, they changed the way bug types work. From, like, from Gen 1, it's different from, like, everything else because it's actually super effective against poison types. Which makes it really good because there's so many poison and, uh, grass types in this game. And it actually makes a difference in... You know, even though the only good bug type moves are learned by Beedrill, you know, uh, Paris at least gets, uh, Leech Life. 
But since it's super effective against stuff, I don't think I'll actually use it. Any other game, I'm like, I don't think I could use Leech Life uh, viably, but I can do it for this one. I am so, so tired of Zubats. Oh my god, okay. Now I see why people hate these things. I don't think it's as bad as like any other generation than Gen 1 with the uh, encounter rates for Zubat. Please, please leave me alone. Is that him? Is that a potion? Uh, I'll wait till the next battle to use that on him. This is an escape rope. Alright, sorry about that. It was just uh, another Zubat. Oh, Rare Candy. Okay, so I think it's the one that's up ahead that's the, uh, the escape rope. I might actually use that Rare Candy soon. I really hate Zubats. Like, with a passion. Alright, I used to at least kind of like them. They're like, oh, Zubats aren't that bad. No. No, I hate them now. I, I hate these things. Alright, here's an actual trainer. Get to the key to go to Cerulean City. Caterpie, yeah. Um, the reason I was bringing up the whole, uh, the way bug types work in this game, and the reason I'll actually use a, uh, Paris, is that once it gets, uh, Leech Life, it actually becomes, uh, not too bad. It, it's pretty good against, you know, absolutely every single, uh, grass type in this game, because, I mean, either there's the one pure grass type, and that's Tangela. Everything else is grass and poison, with the exception of the, uh, Execute and Executor line, because they, uh, they're psychic. And Bug is, uh, super effective against Psychic as well. Damn. What do you people want from me? But yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to do a lot of edits and a lot of cuts for this video if I actually do plan on getting all the way through Mount Moon today. Because there are just too, too many random encounters. And it'll take a little while too because I can't just one hit these Zubats yet. Alright, this, this is gonna be a pain. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch Pikachu for you. Although Spunky also, because, uh, fun fact, critical hits actually ignore, I wanna say, all stat changes and all. Yeah, I wanna say that because if you get a critical hit, it doesn't matter if the uh, Pokemon, like, raise its, uh, it's defense like a ton. Like, a critical hit is going to, uh, see there, one hit him. But a critical hit ignores all stat changes, except for, like, ones that are, like, in your, uh, they, like, help you. They're, like, if I raise my attack, it's not gonna ignore that. But if you raise your defense, it will ignore that. Yeah, I don't know how far you're gonna get through this cave, but you're using nothing but Caterpies and one Metapod. You're all level 10, too. You could at least have Butterfree. You'd have a bit more, uh... bit, bit easier of a time in here. But yeah, see, if I use a Pokémon, I want to use moves that, like... that that Pokémon can utilize. Which is why I don't usually use Cypher and stuff, because... there's no good Bug-type moves, not until, like, later gens. Another fucking Zubat. Alright, I'll leave this one in, or whatever. But yeah, once, uh, once Paris actually gets Leech Life, I want to say, even though Zubat's a flying type, because he's, uh, poison and flying, it'll actually be super effective against him. And then it'll be, like, back and forth, super effective, super effective, but I want to say, uh, because I have Stab, which is a uh, same type attack bonus, for, uh, for Leech Life, I'll actually do more power. And, uh, I'm also higher level, which might help. But I don't know what level he gets it at. I'm really hoping it's 14. I really just want to get that over with. I really just want to get that attack. And there's that. And then, uh, the all-time favorite reason why I use, uh, Clevencilio, especially in Gen 1, is that he gets a move called Spore, which, uh, not many other Pokemon learn. I want to say he's the only one that learns it. 
but it's a 100% accuracy puts the Pokemon to sleep. And you're like, oh, okay, that's fine. But then you gotta remember that, damn it, it doesn't learn it. That in Gen 1, it takes a whole turn to wake up. So I put you to sleep, it takes you a whole turn to wake up. The next turn, I can hit you with that again, and it's just like, you're back to sleep. There's nothing you can do about it. I hate Zubats. Why? Why are there so many Zubats? I can see why people hate this. I remember thinking, eh, Zubats, they're not that bad. They're not that common. There's other Pokemon in there. Nobody complains about Geodudes and stuff. Like, of course nobody complains about Geodudes. Nobody freaking finds a Geodude. Alright, uh, from this point onward, I am cutting absolutely every encounter with a Zubat. And probably any other encounters I find in here. Alright, there's nothing in this corner. There's a lady. Uh, let me heal. I tried pressing B to access the menu, and I'm like, I'm not playing Skyrim, I'm not playing Mario 3, I'm not playing any other game where B would actually be the menu. But yeah, I did it anyway. Plus, I'm playing a GameCube controller. Like, B isn't where it is, unlike any of the other ones. So I don't know why I'm thinking that. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. That's what he said, unfortunately. That really just make it that's what you said joke. Oddish. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. Absorb. Alright, it's not gonna be very effective. Okay, like what? One? Yep, I thought so. This is why I wish I had. Damn it. This is why I wish I had, uh, Leech Life. It, this fight would probably already be over, in all honesty. Do I get Oddish in this game, or do I get, uh, Bellsprout? I mean, I already have Kraut's type because of Pepecilio. But, I really like, uh, I like Oddish and Gloom, Violet Bloom. I love the Loss of too, although I run a completely different moveset on it because it loses that Poison typing. And then, uh, Victory Bell? I like Victory Bell, too. I know, as a kid, because I played blue, blue version, there wasn't an Oddish. I really wanted one. I kept looking everywhere for an Oddish in that game. I never found one, and I didn't know why until like years later. But uh, I was like, well, I guess I'll settle for uh for Bell Sprout since that's the only thing I, thing I seem to uh, find around here. I actually liked it a lot. And I was like, I know the reason I started using it is because I know in the anime when Ash is at the, uh, the Indigo League, is that he sends out his Pikachu against the Bell Sprout. Was really tough. I was like, I don't know why this guy didn't evolve or anything, but like his Bell Sprout was just like completely immune to like any electric attacks and stuff. And that's also how I figured out that Grass is uh, well, electric types are not very effective against Grass types. Speak of the fucking devil himself, Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout. <laughs> he just looks like a dirt. That's also also the things why I like Bell Sprout is that it just looks so dopey. Whip. Yeah, I don't know which one I like more. I feel like uh, time has done more in favor of Philoplume. This has been more popular altogether. It also got another uh, another evolution. But Victory Bell is really solid, and I don't know I don't know how it stands up later. But I know in Gen One, it's at least pretty decent. I I liked it. If it if I wasn't using my uh Heaven Celio, I probably would have caught a Bell Sprout. Eh, yeah, you didn't lose it. Fucking lost it. Uh Alright. One more uh <laughs> race damn it. <sighs> Whatever. What's well, uh so raise Parasect, one more level, or Paras, not Parasect yet. One more level, and then uh, I'll use that rear candy on it. So I don't know what level it gets to Leech Life, but the second I do, this is going to become a lot easier. Not that Scratch is terrible, not that he's weak or anything, I mean, you see, I'm doing at least, you know, pretty good damage to these Zubats. Uh, I 
Well, let's see. How much more do you have to go? Okay, not too much more. Alright, guys. So, um, in that last battle before I cut the video, um, Pepicilio actually fainted. So I spent the past few moments uh, struggling my way out of the cave just to heal him and struggling my way right back to where I am and he's about like half health already. I... I hate Zubats. Once he gets leash life and it can start healing itself, it'll be great. <laughs> oh, okay. Play this carefully, but at the same moves. There we go. I have an advantage now. There we go. This I I used to not dislike Zubats that much. But the I think the encounter rate, at least on the top part of the cave for Zubats, is like a hundred percent. Like there has been nothing else but Zubats. <laughs> Why? Uh, this is not, this has not been the most enjoyable experience for me. I don't know how much footage I'm cutting, but it says I'm at f like 50 minutes right now. Get a little 15, that's good. Alright. Somebody, okay, I'm not even replying to these people, but people keep messaging me on Facebook, and I don't know why. Level 16... Damn it! You still don't fucking get it. When do you get leech life? Ah, <sighs> use on you. The least amount of health anyway. I'll raise it by two. That's good. Oh, I have an escape rope. All right. We're gonna have to use that carefully. TM01. I wanna say that's Mega Punch. She's Mega Punch the Pokemon. Oh. Uh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to find out uh, how much power that thing has. I'll probably do that in the middle of this next battle. There's no way around this guy. And that rock has a secret item. I'm pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Fuck you, man. Rocket wants to fight, and that's good. Oh, that's right, you're still paralyzed, damn it. I am paralyzed, I am confused, this fight is not gonna go well. I might have to use... Oh. Alright, I'll use, uh... Whenever one of my Pokemon faints, I'll use the, uh, escape rope and I'll get back out of here and at least cut that part out. Apparently I don't know my alphabet, I'm trying to find this move. And I'm like, alright, A through G, that's definitely an M in there somewhere, right? Right. I got a Mega Punch. Uh, base power 80, accuracy is only 85 though. Huh. Fun fact, in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Colosseum XD. The only Pokemon that learned Mega Punch by leveling up is Hitmonchan, Kangaskhan, and Mew. Which I would not actually expect Mew to learn Mega Punch. Like, I just. doesn't seem like a move that's like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna teach a Mega Punch to my Mew, naturally. Huh. Uh. 
Mount Moon has not been very kind to me in this whole playthrough. The non-stop, never-ending Zubats. And now, oh, now he's paralyzed. Oh, great. It's one thing that's OP in Gen 1, it's rap. It just non-stop hits. If the opponent is faster than you, then the second rap is over, they can rap again. And it's just, like, totally, like, nothing you can do. I mean, I could use Quick Attack if it was more, like, if it was faster than me. But besides that, if my Pokemon didn't have Quick Attack, then there'd be nothing I could do. Uh, I might have to cut a. Uh, mm, that ether. I'm not that far from the end of the of Mount Moon. There is. You know what? Yep. All right. I'm doing it. I'm gonna use my escape rope. I need to heal. There is one last section. I'm pretty sure if I cut out enough of these random encounters and stuff, and if I cut back to where I left off at the main thing of here, I'll be fine for recording times. And after this battle, I'll, uh, I'll meet you guys back out on the uh, top level of here. Struggle with everything. Seriously. I don't remember this game annoying me that much. I think it's really just this part. I don't like caves. There, I remember as a kid, when I got to the, uh, like, I struggled to get through here I just did not want to go in a cave. And when I got to, uh, Rock Tunnel, and it is pitch black in there, I was, like, terrified. I did not want to go in there at all. And now I see why. Uh, uh, alright, alright. I'll, uh, I'll meet you guys back over there. Alright, and I'm back. I swear, every time I leave this cave, I try to come back. And, like, I'm trying to level up this thing. It is, like, at a quarter of its health, just about. Just trying to get back to where I was. Also, alright, I looked it up. Uh, it doesn't actually get leech life until level 20. So, uh, it's not gonna be... It's not going to be the most useful thing while I'm in here. Youngster wants to fight. Rattata. Uh. I'm going to have to switch you out. I am running at over an hour of recording time right now. I don't know what it's going to be like when I cut everything else. I'm hoping it's still around like a 30, 35, 40 minute episode at the longest. There's a lot of things I've had to cut out though. I swear, it's gonna be worth it. You guys are watching me struggle right now, but it is definitely worth it. You're level 17, that's good. I'll keep you in. I want to try to get out of this cave relatively soon, though. Like, the second I get out, I can cut a recording there, but... Jesus. Mount Moon, you are a bitch. I don't remember you being such a bitch, though. Why are you such a bitch to me? Losing stinks. Yeah, you're fucking telling me. Alright, let's, uh, let's heal you. My last potion. I'm gonna stop apologizing for cutting the video so often. I I'm just just gonna deal with it. Just gonna deal with the fact that I am constantly cutting out these random encounters because they are just too too many of them to count. This guy though. Whoa! You shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. I'll show you who's just a kid. You're just a kid. Hello, Burlesque Mountain Man. But I never knew as a kid. Because the uh, colors were always weird. Because I played blue version. He actually has a beard. I didn't just I didn't know that until just now though. Because it's uh, like a slightly different shade of brown than the rest of him. 
But he has appeared. I know in like every other generation he has appeared, but it's never new. And I think the the worst part about uh about Paris is that I want him to learn because he doesn't learn uh spore until like a lot later on as Parasex, so I'm gonna have to keep him in Paris for just a few more levels past when he's supposed to evolve. So I swear, once once he gets Leech Life, I guarantee you guys he's gonna be good. Just listen. Just listen, guys. Guys, are you listening? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be the best. I guarantee it. Never been a better Pokemon ever. Probably. Wow, shocked again. So that didn't actually shock you. I got the Moonstone. Hey, 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 my first encounter, the first top level here, that hasn't been a, that hasn't been a fucking Zubat. Alright, once I get here, it is all, uh, it's all straightforward from this point out. Alright, I, I don't care if I'm gonna end up just using Spunky from this point on, but I need to get out of here. Uh, is there anything up here? I, it doesn't matter what game it is. Red, blue, yellow, fire, red, leaf, green. I keep going up there to check and see if there's any other like items. I know there's not. Hello, Rocket Grunt. Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. You know what, as a little kid, I was like, screw you, and now as an adult, I'm like, you know, maybe you have a point. Little kids are, uh, somewhat annoying. Like, I want kids of my own someday. But if they're not my own, or if they're not, like, related to me or something, or, like, I don't have a close bond with their parent, little kids are annoying. Alright, guys, it's all, uh... The hall downhill from here. Oh no. Okay, maybe not downhill. What? It's all straightforward from here. Just gotta get through this part. Just gotta... Why am I using low kick? Just let me leave. You know, I solidly believe the reason why. So many rocket runs have Zubats because they did all their training inside of here, and that's all they could find. He's steamed. All right, let's see how far we can get before our next encounter. Doing good. Nope. All right, as I was trying to say earlier. Uh, all right, as I was trying to say earlier, I don't care if I'm only using Spunky right now. I need to get through this cave. And Smokey's the only Pokemon I have that can one-hit any, uh, any opponent I find in here. I think I'm going to scream. I think I'm going to scream. There should have been another Rocket guy here. Um, hidden item. There you go. You guys, uh, here's a secret of the game. There you go. Alright, decision time. <laughs> what, what fossil do I want? And I'll switch in Sparky. Spunky's a little too high level now. I'm trying to, I like keeping my Pokemon all around the same level. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Fuck you, man. But um, I try to keep all my Pokemon around the same level, which is why I hated just using uh, Spunky through all of that. Well, there is nothing I can do. I just, I, I want to get out, guys. I am not. I am 100% not looking forward to a uh, rock tunnel later on. Just, I hate Zubats. I hate Zubats so much. I, also, I remember what it was called. It's uh, Victory Road from last level or last episode. I was trying to figure out what the uh, the cave was before you go plateau. It's uh, yeah, Victory Road. And I, I think Rafi Road doesn't have that much in the way of Zubats compared to this place, but I could be wrong. You 
Yeah, I could have, uh, probably could have used, uh, Paris for this fight, at least a little bit. Also, something I like about Gen 1, that it'll tell you the move is disabled. And like any other Gen, I think if you try to use the attack, it'll, it, it won't, unless you're trying to use it, it won't tell you it's disabled until you go to use it, and then it'll be like, it'll pop up with a message saying this move is disabled. There you go. But yeah, I kinda... Oh yeah, it reminds me. Part of the game I forgot was actually in this game. Uh, it's coming up next. You'll see it very soon. But I totally forgot it was a yellow version exclusive, and they never brought it back to any other generation after this. And I think it's kinda weird, some of my commentary here, I act like everyone has played red, blue, or yellow, but then like other times I'm acting like you know, the people watching have never played this game. Just back and forth. Alright. Alright, you'll share it. Good. Which one do I want? Um... Am I gonna use either one? I don't know, I kinda, kinda want to, actually. Although I have plans for a different water type and a different rock type already. Yeah, nah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. The Helix Fossil? Dome Fossil? Yeah. I'm sorry guys, I'm not all that big into religion. I ain't gonna go with Lord Helix. <laughs> I like how Pikachu hops out of the way for him. Far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating fossils. And here? Stop right there! Jesse and James. And are now prepared to fight. Rocket wants to fight. You know what would have been cool? If this was like the predecessor to Devil Battles, and like I had to, uh, and then like I had to, like they fight both of them at once, that would have been really cool. Instead, it's like a regular Pokemon battle, but there's two trainers there. But I think it would have been so cool, you know, before it was ever introduced into Gen 3 as a regular mechanic, to have double battles in there. But I know, I heard somewhere that they were actually planning on having double battles in, a, in Gen 2, but they couldn't fit in the game or like they just didn't have enough time to work on it. There was a lot of stuff planned for Gen 2. Like, they worked on that game, they only, I think, they like developed the game in like a year or like a year and a half. But not only did they have to make the entire Johto region, program in every single Pokemon, they also threw in the entire Kanto, Kanto region. And there's just like so much content in gold, silver, and crystal that's kind of amazing what they did with such a short amount of time. And then the fact that they there was more that they wanted to add to the game that they just they couldn't. It kind of, it just blows my mind. Alright guys, we're almost out of this cave. But it kind of sucks because like, in the yellow version, because these three Pokemon that I'm battling against right now, belong to these guys, they're like, nope, you can't catch them. So I can't catch a Meowth, I can't catch an Ekans, and I can't catch a Coughing. Which, I think Meowth was a version exclusive, and it was like, you can only catch it in blue, or red, one of the two. And Ekans was, but Coughing was available in both, and they're like, yeah, we can take it out for this game. I do still get Grimer, though. Do I want to use a Grimer? I've never used a Muck, but I've heard that they're really powerful. Fuck it.
this has just been so, so grinding and so, so just like in your face about everything. It's just, I feel like if this, if it wasn't for all the Zubats in this cave, I wouldn't have hated this so much. But there's just so, so many of them. I wonder how many like encounters I'm gonna end up skipping because of this. Spunky was poisoned. Oh no. That sucks. Uh you know what? Uh I'm already running at a high time here. I think I'm gonna make it always to ruling in. And then I'll cut the footage there. I got four twenty dollars. Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. Bye. That was fun. But, uh, I think I'm gonna make it to Cerulean. I'll cut the footage there. And. Oh, hey, look, the exit! God, I'm so glad. Oh, it's Mount. Oh, I'm on Route 4? Oh, wait, was that Route 3 before? Now I'm on Route 4? Route 1, Route. Shit, I don't know. Hey, yeah, that was that was route that was route three that I was on before. Okay, so it didn't label the last video wrong. I really should go back and get the map. But all right, um, come up here. Uh, these guys aren't here. They're there in Gen three for Fire Red and Leaf Green. There's someone there that'll teach your Pokemon Mega Kick and Mega Punch. But as for this game, not so much. Team of four. What is that? The Mega Kick. Whirlwind. Alright, I didn't think so. Whirlwind's an okay move. It pretty much it acts like Roar before Roar was a thing. Uh, let's get that grass. And. Oh, yes! Okay, I like how it kind of like did it on the flash. Damn it. Why is funky? I like how it did it on the flash. That it got. Uh, that the colors changed. Heal up. Alright, I think uh, between now and the my next video, I'm actually going to grind a little bit. I'm going to get everything up to level 20. Spunky is close. Evan Celia needs to get uh, Leech Life, and Sparky can just level up because leveling up is good, it's healthy, it's good for the soul, you know how it is. But alright, alright. Thank you guys for uh, joining with me, sticking with me through every single Zubat encounter that I've had to deal with. I'm gonna throw up an, uh, a card over here, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna count how many battles I've had to cut from this. And I'll also tell you, like, what my uh, running time is. Like, right now, I'm at a, an hour and, like, 21 minutes. And, um, yeah, this has been, uh, this has been a trip. Let me, let me save. This has definitely been a trip. Thank you, guys. I'm at four and a half hours of playtime. I usually just let the game sit there, that's probably why. Uh, but thanks, you guys, for joining with me. I'm sorry if this looks like a, uh, just a total mess. I'm like cutting this and cutting that and everything. But I definitely appreciate it. Uh, leave a like down below. You know, comment, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I last time I checked, I'm actually at like 12 or 13 subscribers now. I'm actually pretty happy about that. I wasn't sure, uh, wasn't sure how far I'd get. But uh, thank you guys. I really appreciate it to anyone out there that's been consistently watching me watching my videos slowly get better, and uh, it's, I really appreciate it. Uh, this has been Regasticism, signing off, and as always, have a great day. Adios.